In keeping with holiday tradition, I'm sharing another version of this curb shop washstand. I believe we're on six makeovers, year six, and be sure to stay tuned to the end and I'll share what all of them look like. Last year, I used Would You Bend Molding to spruce this washstand up. This year, I'm sharing how easy it is to remove these Would You Bend Moldings so they can be used on another project. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun Here's the salvaged wash stand in its original state when I found it curbside back in 2018. And here's last year's Christmas makeover using a nice crisp white paint and would you bend moldings. Again, if you'd like to see all the previous holiday makeovers, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. I'd love to hear which one is your favorite. So there are many reasons why you may want or need to remove Remove your wood you bend. Uh, you may have placed them in the wrong spot on your project. I've done this a good few times. Uh, maybe your furniture has not sold as of yet and you'd like to start again and create a new look. Uh, maybe you've created something for yourself, but you'd like to change it up to match your decor. But whatever the reason, Would You Bend is very easy to remove and use on another project. So make sure you do not throw them away. So what you'll need is heat and a spatula or putty knife to pry the Would You Bend up. I used my heat gun to warm up the Would You Bend on this wash stand. Uh, the Would You Bend was adhered to this project for a full year, but the heat loosened up the glue and made the Would You Bend soft and pliable. While the molding was still warm, I used my painter's multi-tool to pry off the molding. Uh, you can also use a spatula, a putty knife. If you're in a real pinch, you could even use a butter knife from your kitchen drawer. Anything flat enough to get under the molding to remove it. And once the wood you bend is removed, you wait until it cools down and hardens, and then it's ready to be stored in a bag or a box for your next project. It is seriously this easy as one, two, three. So one, Heat the wood you bend molding. Two, pry it off with a spatula or putty knife. Three, cool and store to reuse on another project. I'm going to be using all of these moldings on another project. I can go ahead and repaint them, stain them, bend them, cut them, and use them exactly as I would a brand new one right from the package. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find uh, hundreds of Would You Bend designs. Once all the wood you bend was removed, I gave this wash stand an overall scuff sanding with my orbital sander. To paint this piece, I picked this gorgeous pink silk all-in-one mineral paint. And a big thank you to Monique, an SI blog reader, who suggested pink in the comments section for this year's Christmas wash stand makeover. Thanks, Monique. Thank you. 
This silk all-in-one mineral paint has a primer and a top coat included and brushes on beautifully. Uh, it took two coats for full coverage. I left the paint to dry and came down the next day to add this Christmas cheer stencil design. Uh, this stencil comes with four different Christmas stencils that can be used individually or you can collage them together. I used a semi-permanent spray adhesive to stick the stencil onto the door panels, but I still had to hold down the edges as the stencil was larger than the panel inserts. Uh, rather than brush or roll on the gold paint, I used my airbrush kit to airbrush the stencil on. Uh, it sprays beautifully and I love the result. Using the airbrush is a really fun way to stencil. Uh, you can control how dark or light you want the stencil to be much easier than if I was to use a stencil brush or a roller. Once the washstand was stenciled, I added these brushed brass knobs and this washstand was complete for its 2023 makeover. And here's how it all came together. Here's the finished look. It looks very different from last year and the Would You Bend is all ready for a brand new project. No waste. I can't wait to hear what you think of this new look. And I hope it's given you some ideas for your holiday projects. As I mentioned, here are all the prior year's Christmas washstand makeovers. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I hope you enjoyed today's makeover and you've received some value from it. If so, please give it a like, be sure to subscribe, and if you know of anyone who might also like this video, please feel free to share. You can also find me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 
500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. I'll be taking a couple of weeks off to spend time with family and friends over the holidays, and I'll see you back here in January. So happy holidays to you, and a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of this community. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.